Hi, this is Happy Bird from happybirdscraftinghaven.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful little angel ornament for your tree. This was so simple and you can buy all of the uh, materials you need at Michael's with the exception of the um, filigree butterfly connectors. I purchased these um, butterfly connectors from ButterbeeScraps.com and I received six of them for um, two dollars and ten cents and I'll put the link in the drop down bar below. Um, there are sellers on eBay and Etsy that sell butterflies as well uh, but I really liked um, ButterbeeScraps.com their, their prices. Um, I think they're very reasonable and this gal lives in Canada so she does ship worldwide so um, if you live in a different country that's good news for you actually I'll keep this out um, <clears throat> with this little angel I did the same thing on the back as I did on the front as you can tell and um, the first thing that I did was I took some stiff white felt, not the kind with the sticky back on it. Some of um, the stiff felt, uh, they have adhesive in the back and you pull off the paper. Don't get that kind, just the plain stiff felt, okay? And so out of that felt, what I did was I took my large scissors and I just made two cuts at a slant like this and when I had the one triangle cut out I laid it down and cut out another piece to match and at the very tip I just cut the very tip off because you're going to need to do that in order for it to fit nicely below the angel's head here okay so um, <clears throat> The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this butterfly and I'm going to put some ornament thread here. And the reason why we're doing this now instead of later, as you can tell, um, I put the crown on with hot glue. So um, we need to put the string in first. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Just going to slip it on through here. And these angels can be personalized, and I will show you how we're going to do that. Um, when we're finished with this, okay? So now we have this on. You might want to take a little bit of uh, turbo tacky glue or something and just rub it on the knot here so it doesn't come undone. Okay, so now we have our butterfly and I already made these two pieces up in advance and what I did was I put a generous amount of the Deco Art Craft Twinkles on each one and after I spread it around with my fingers you know I immediately shook on uh, the Recollections Fine Glitter in Glitz. Now you don't have to do that um, but I just wanted to give it some extra sparkle so um, I have a plain piece here, so I'll go ahead and show you how I did that. And once I, once I let this dry, and I did let it dry for, I believe, um, 24 hours. Um, once I did that, I went over it with the Mod Podge um, Super Gloss in the One Coat Gloss Finish that's very different from 
from the Mod Podge here, and I think I showed this in my last video, but I'm just going to do it just for the heck of it. Again, because I always get questions whenever I use the Mod Podge. So, this is what you're going to want to use, and as you can tell, this is a gloss. Don't use this right here. This is a like a glue. See the difference? This is a gloss, this is a glue. You want the gloss. Okay. Okay, set that aside. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to show you how how much I put on these craft twinkles here. It's quite a bit. All I did was just, and this is really cheap too, this this stuff. I found it in the paint section, um, you know, where all the little bottles of paint are. And I believe it's like 97 cents. I've seen it at Walmart too, the Super Walmarts. Okay, see how I'm spreading that around? And if you feel like you need to go back and get more, um, you know, go ahead and do that. And how long it takes to dry I think depends a lot on where you live. Um, I live in a very hot and dry area so mine dried pretty quickly. Okay and as you can tell there's a lot of pretty twinkles on here but I immediately took right here, this glitter, and sprinkled it on top. And I'm going to do that right over here off camera over my trash can so I can kind of show you what it looks like. Normally I wouldn't do it over a trash can because you want to be able to save that excess glitter and put it back in the jar, but I just realized I had nothing here. <laughs> Okay, and so I hope you can see that. It's a lot of glitz. So I'm going to let this dry in a, for a full 24 hours. If you live in a humid area, it might take a couple of days. But um, then once this is completely dried, rock hard, then I'm going to brush uh, the Mod Podge Super Gloss, one coat gloss, over this with a soft brush. Okay? Don't use a stiff nylon brush or anything like that. Alright, so, um, let's see. So what I'm going to need to do next is take my hot glue gun and I think I'm going to position the head of the angel and the crown on first and then I'm going to come in and hot glue it. I use the Recollections um, buttons here and I'll see how large those are just in case you can't find Recollections. I bought these at Michael's and like I said I never pay full price for this. These were original $3.99, but I got them for $2 a package um, because I use the coupons. I wait and use them. Okay, so this is roughly, um, yeah, it's pretty darn close to 20 millimeters. Okay, and these are flat back rhinestones. Okay, so I'm going to take one of these the angel's head and make sure I have this string where I want it nice and straight and I'm just going to lay this down here and right up here at the very top that's where I'm going to take three of these recollections flat back rhinestones and kind of position it for the crown okay so um, And everything that you do on the front, you're going to do on the back of this angel. I guess you could make it a one-sided angel, um, but I really like 
my work to look finished. So we kind of have these positioned right here and so that's kind of where I want it I think. Right about there. So now I'm going to take the big button here, put some glue on it. I think I got a little too much on this, but I think it'll be okay because I'm going to press it down here. And of course, we're going to glue, take some of this off the back. We're going to glue the um, same thing here on the back. Alright, and so now, next, are these little pieces here. The crown. I think I'll do the one in the middle first. Sticky. <laughs> okay. You're going to put just the tiniest bit. You don't need a lot. Just a tiny bit. And place it right here in the middle. Okay. Now I'm going to do this one. These are so pretty. To give at Christmas time. And like I said, I'll show you how we're going to personalize it at the end. Something that I didn't do with the angel that I showed you at the beginning of this video. But I had the idea to do it afterwards. Ah, look at hap look what happened. Okay. I don't know why that happened. Let me do this again. It really does hold very well, so I don't know. I have uh, an overhead fan going above me because it's pretty warm in here tonight. Maybe, maybe it cooled down just a little too fast by the time I got it on there. Okay. And let me get some glue on this one. Okay. 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 And we'll clean it up afterwards too. Okay. And then, of course, you do the same thing on the back. You glue the large button on the back here. And I'm going to put it back to back so it doesn't show. Make sure it's nice and, and even with the front. Okay. And then you do the same thing with your flat back rhinestones. And I know this is taking a while, but some crafts I can whip on through the videos and other crafts I have to take my time. So if it bothers you that my um, tutorial is too long, you can certainly fast forward if you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. Okay. There we go. Right here. And then one more. Okay. There we go. And I'll place that one right here. Okay. And we'll clean up all this stuff around here. I come back in with little scissors and tweezers and kind of pick out you know, some of the excess glue here, if there's any. 
so don't worry about that too much okay all right now um, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the dress on back to back and I'm going to glue this one here and of course this one on the back side all right so put a little bit of glue here at the top just to hold it like that and I'm going to take this press that on the back side see so once I kind of feel like that that part of the glue is holding it then I go back in and um, just around the edge Sure, you don't want to put a lot because you don't want any glue leaking, you know, out from the edges here. But you just want to, you know, put enough where it's sealed shut. Okay. Here we go. So. Here we go. And you know with the with a dress, now on this one, I just use two different sizes with the flat back rhinestones on the back and the front. And then I glued a little flat back heart rhinestone in the middle here. Now you can certainly use all different sizes and shapes. They have larger rhinestones if you want to put a larger rhinestone here. Um, they have the tinier ones like this as well in my collections in the recollections brand stickers I just found these stickers that I bought at the Dollar Tree um, during Valentine's Day so I just decided I would go ahead and use that um, you can also use for the bottom hem of the dress now this is in blue, but they have it in silver and gold. Um, you can cut, you know, a strip here, you know, and just put it at the bottom. So there's a lot of different ways you can do this. Uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and put a little heart here on the front and the back. So I'll put, and it's just a tiny heart. And you don't want to put a ton of glue, just just a dab of hot glue. Because you don't want a lot of that leaking out. I think it looks good probably right about here. Right about here. And then I'm going to turn this over and do the same thing with this heart. I think these will go over really well at Christmas time. I showed these to some of my family and friends and they really liked it. The little angel ornament. So um, before I decorate the bottom, I'm going to show you what we're going to do to personalize it. Now you can pick up all different kinds of rhinestones and once again I paid half price for these. The rhinestone um, scrapbooking stickers in here. And as you can tell, I've already used a few. Um, you don't have to get them in the rhinestone, um, but I just thought they were so pretty. And since I'm making this angel for my daughter-in-law, I'm going to put a V um, on here for her name. Her name's Veronica. She loves angels. So, 
this is going to be a little tricky. I'm going to try to put just the tiniest, tiniest dots on here very slowly. And then maybe a third dot here. Okay. I don't want to get too much. And I would place the V right here. Yeah. So see, it has a V for Veronica. I was thinking, you know, after placing this on, it might have been better to put um, a darker letter since this is white, but um, you kind of get the idea. And um, but I still think she'll like it. So um, now we're, we'll work up on the bottom part right here, and I started with a. tiny little rhinestone and you're just putting the smallest amount of glue you don't want a lot and I start by putting one of the small rhinestones in each corner and then kind of filling in the middle part helps with your spacing and then of course, the larger ones will come next. Not large, large. I mean, there's, I guess, the medium size it would be. And that will be here. And then another small one right here. And a medium size one. So this is the the front. And I'm going to do the same thing on the back. Um, but I won't make you sit there and watch me do that. <laughs> but that's basically how you make them. And I hope you really enjoyed this craft. I'm definitely going to be continuing putting up Christmas tutorials. I'm gonna try to get up at least one a week, once uh, one video a week. Sorry, kind of tangling up my words there in my mouth. There you go. So you have a choice of personalizing them or not, but I think they turned out super cute. Thank you so much for watching, and God bless you all. I appreciate all your comments and and your support and um, your love and I just want to thank you very much because because I know that my channel wouldn't be what it is without you guys you take care and God bless you all bye bye